Hey everybody, Chad here. It's uh, time for one of the things I don't like doing, and that is crepe murder. I'm just kidding, that's what my dad calls it. He heard someone say that. Um, we're trimming the crepe myrtle trees back here, and if you can see behind me, you can tell exactly where we always trim them. They were like this when we moved in, and they were um, trimmed here evidently for a long, long time. We got some thick knots on them, but they grow really good. I'll post a picture that shows you them in full bloom um, and the good news is we have a power line that goes over them uh, pretty close to them or right beside them actually And so it grows just enough to get close to the power line, but it doesn't touch them So when the branches branch out, you don't have to worry about them hitting that line and they have just beautiful beautiful flowers The only problem is you have to get up on a little small ladder and there's a lot of different angles and some different sizes that are a little too big for pruners So it can be a little bit annoying and my hands definitely gonna be tired But I don't want to use a chainsaw to like chop them up because if you just chopped them off right up under that they would not grow back like this, I don't think. So I've done that to one smaller one that I just tried to play around with and it definitely did not grow as good. So I like to cut these each one individually. It takes a little bit longer, but uh, it is definitely worth it if you see it uh, in the springtime when this thing is in full bloom. We'll get to work. Time to bring out the big guns, the pruning shears, not these little dinky things like this, but the big loppers. This give you a shoulder workout, not from squeezing, but from holding your shoulders up in the air. And that's all good. Feel the burn, baby. Looks like we're good to go. Except we got another crepe myrtle on the other side. Don't. Well, that's all I can get with the little step ladder. Got to get the big ladder out for this guy. He's a monster.
Now it's done. It's time to get the kids out here to play a little game I like to call pick up sticks. <laughs> things is relaxing and standing around a fire, getting rid of the debris that you just cut down from the crate myrtle. But you should always have a rake or a pitchfork in your hand like this. Almost got all the debris burned up and as the fire is dying down I've raked around it so it doesn't spread anywhere but it's not going to because it's pretty damp out here anyway but as it's dying down I'm gonna go up there and clean up uh, around the walkway and then should be good to go and everything will look nice and uh, move on to the next project Just blew off the walkway in the driveway here and everything looks good. There's Molly the Kalish um, inspecting everything for us. Looks really good now, nice and neat. And uh, I'll post one more time the uh, little clip of what this is gonna look like very soon, hopefully. And everything's burned up. It's nice to have a clean walkway. All the roses here are tie it up if you haven't seen that video if I haven't posted if I post this one first I'll post that video very soon as well
So you can see how I did all that.